Now listen to this miracle and me and my wife and several members from our church, we witnessed this miracle. So I can stand here in front of you and tell you I seen it. I seen it and I give God glory. Her name is Sophia. She's been out here on the streets with us before. She has four little grandbabies. She was diagnosed with cancer five years ago. The doctor did a surgery on her, but he missed one little part of the tumor. He didn't get it all. And five years later, that little part had grown into this huge mass of cancerous tumor up on, t up on top of her digestive system. So she had to go back to the surgery. They had to cut on her again. And after they cut on her again, the doctor said, we done everything we can for you. She laid up here in Breckenridge Hospital for about four months. Her Medicaid ran out. The money ran out. And guess what they said? Time to go. Get out. Put her in a nursing home. She laid in this nursing home for 14 days, just laying there, laying there, and she was dying. They had her on oxygen and everything, and I would go and visit her in the nighttime. I would sit and I would pray with her. And they were trying to get her to go into hospice. They were trying to get her to do these things. And she said, no, it's me and Jesus. No, it's me and Jesus. And, and we got to understand that's where we're at today. We're at a point in time in our country where it's us and Jesus. I'm telling you what, you got to stand on the Word of God and you'll see these miracles start happening for all of us. Not just a man. One morning I went to see her right before they kicked her out of Breckenridge. I went to see her and I was praying for her. And the Lord said, tell her, tell her these words. Tell her I gave Hezekiah another 15 years. I'm going to give her another 15 years. So we were over there. I was over there Sunday night. Last Sunday, I was over there praying for her. She was laying on the bed, barely able to move, barely able to breathe. Everything looked bad. I left. I left after about 45 minutes. I left. And, uh, and me and my wife had talked about it several times that she was dying, that she was getting ready to pass away. Monday came and my wife took her some soup because that's all she could do was drink liquid. You got to hear this. Her whole dig digestive system was messed up because of that tumor. And so anyway, I, for some reason, and I don't know because I was over at another place taking care of business for the church. And all of a sudden, I just called my wife. I said, hey, look, I got to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I got to go to bed. That's where you'll find me. And she said, oh, no, you got to get to the nursing home. And I was just like, oh, no. And, and I was so afraid that, that Cecilia was about and to Sophia just cross over. Cecilia is sitting up in bed eating. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Eating. I'm telling you, she was eating. Yeah. And, and the first thing I did, I just started bawling. I started crying. My wife was sitting on the edge of the bed bawling and crying. And I'm looking at her going, you can't eat. You can't eat. And she's smiling, going, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And she's just sitting there glowing. She's just glowing. And I'm bawling and I'm crying. And these other two ladies never said a word. They just get up and walk right out of the room. Hey. So it's just me, my wife, and Sophia. And she says, Pastor, I seen Jesus. Hallelujah. I said, you did? And she said, yeah. He was standing under a tree and the lights were going from that tree. They were going to heaven and they were going down to earth. And I said, Jesus, what is it? He said, this is the tree of life. The tree of life is written in the book. So you should know that. And, uh, and she said that Jesus was just glowing and shining. And she said, she said, Jesus just touched her. 
And then all of a sudden, when he touched her, he pulled what she thought was a softball out of her. And she said, Jesus, what is that? And, and Jesus said, it's the tumor. She said, you can go home now. Your family needs you. And she said, and it just turned into a stone in his hand. Then he opened up a book. He had a book. And he opened up the book. And Sophia said, what is that, Jesus? He said, it's the book of life. And he was pulling something out of the book of life. And Sophia said, Jesus, what is that? And he said, it's your name. It's your name. Do you know that your name is written in the book of life when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Sophia starts telling Jesus how much she loves him. And he goes, no, I love you more. No, I love you more. And so then all of a sudden he said, go home. Get up and go home. Your babies need you. Amen. You are healed. Amen. And this is what he said. Now listen. Listen what he said. You go tell everyone I am alive. Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus spoke to that dead boy in that coffin, he said, arise. Well, you know what? He spoke that to Sophia. Arise. And, and you know what? We, we took her soup the other day. I went and seen her. She's sitting up in bed. The Lord is speaking to her. The Lord's giving her downloads. She took off the oxygen thing herself. Oh. Stuck it in a corner. Oh. She is doing awesome. Hallelujah. For the glory of God. For the glory of God. For all the people that know what that woman went through this last year of her life. And now she's alive. Amen. 